Damn it, I gotta remember to stop doing that shit. Anyways, like I was saying before I realized that I was on push, uh, yeah, push to talk, that I gotta freaking stop doing that shit. But yeah, we're back on the doll. Last time I was on it, I believe I had the uh, G29. Since upgraded to a uh, Fanatic CSL Elite base, with the uh, BMW GT2 rim, V3 pedals, still rocking the old uh, G27 shifter for now, although it's barely alive. And uh, the C CSIO Tech SKRS uh, shifter now. So let's see if all my horns work. Why is that a high beam? That's high beam too. Okay, whatever. been a minute since I've been on this map. Come on, car. We're in the infamous Ice Road Trucker Cam, and now, for some reason, it did not let me, uh, Choose my uh, you guys just saw that where my shifter just spazzed out the shifter is barely hanging to life well not let me float gears so once we deliver this load and I'll hop in the next truck Seeing how I am driver for hire here. Oh boy, this is uh, definitely different. I'm liking this. I'm not to send the force feedback down though, especially for terrain. With this new uh, Fanatic wheel, it is definitely a lot more violent. After a long hiatus from the Dalton, it's time to return. Come on, you can do it, little car. Or I'm just gonna go around your ass. With my ventilation shaft. My shaft of awesomeness. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to turn the force speed back down. It's just kicking the crap out of my wheel. It's almost like I'm driving off road. Oh wait, I am. Yeah, get out of my way. I've got a mile to drive, and it's gonna take me another minute to get there. Love the Jake brake sound, though. Is 
so slow. Got places to go, man. Delivering off the grid here. going up here. Ooh, what the hell is this? Hey, that's where I gotta drop my trailer off. Hey guys! Probably just drove in there wrong as shit, but still gotta know how this works. At least reverse still works. I don't like how I'm gonna have to push the clutch in every time now to uh switch a gear, it should be uh throttle release. Alright, so there's our first job in. Let's decouple the trailer legs. Cut those off, we don't need those on. Yeah! Woo! Now it's gonna show me my crappy shop. Yes, I know this is my headquarters. Oh darn, I don't have anything to park in it. All right, cool. So now, hopefully now, it'll let me go over here, controls. All right, force feedback, we're gonna turn that down. Stiffness down. Centering, we're gonna leave up. Terrain is what we're turning the hell down. So I guess we can turn all this shit down. Now I'll turn the gain, leave that down. Dampers, collisions, that can all stay the same. See that? Oh, now it's giving me the uh, advanced option. Before it wasn't. Uh, clutch or throttle. Yes, please. Thank you. All right, now we're good to go find us a uh, driver for hire. Dead horse. Oh, my God, really? Pump station three, pump station four. I guess we'll try this one here. That's a long ass drive down there. So let's see how the uh, Peterbilt sounds. Ah, it sounds stock to me. Oh, this truck's gonna fall on its ass too. Oh boy, I have to get stuck with this stupid, uh, mount. Oh, oh shit. There's, there's the road up there. Perfect. Stuck with a crappy Jake break though. I think we actually have to start lowing this son of a bitch. Now the challenge, accepted. Can I eat a burrito while I'm driving a truck? Oh shit. What's up, Jeremiah? No, it's been a long ass time since you've seen me doing one of these videos. There we go, now my wheel's not going freaking insane. A hundred four miles? Holy shit. Yeah. Is 
It's gonna take a while. Especially in this damn truck. Ah, busy doing the whole uh, race broadcasting thing, but finally figured out the uh, correct loading order of this game and uh, had to configure the uh, new wheels and pedals and everything to it. Oh, what the hell? You just, like, no brake lights, bro. God, now it's not rumbling and everything. This is awesome. So we're gonna try and get the hell out of Dead Horse here. I should've put my shop, or my headquarters in Fairbanks, but. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. I want to see how Dead Horse was, though. Oh, nice. I actually have a 5 low. <clears throat> this is going to take forever and a freaking day to get the load there. Excuse me, coming through. Thank you. Lifted Dodge Ram. Sorry, buddy. My spot. Oh, God. Gay horns. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the physics are there. We slid. That's awesome. See, that hasn't changed. Thirty five miles an hour said nobody ever. This is a new challenge. Drive a truck, live stream it, while eating a burrito, and using an 18 speed shifter. While I'm in this god awful Peterborough. Yeah, Peter, Bill. Freaking burrito. Excuse me, coming through. I've turned signals, so there you go. I have a feeling I should turn my hazards on to let everybody know I'm a hazard to everybody. Oh, hey, there's where I probably should have turned in for that last job, but no. Well, look out. I got five high. All right, what do I feel with uh, comfortable speed? 60, 65? I think I'll set it at 65 for now. But I'll ever get up to 65. There we go. Cruise is set. I have a feeling I'm going to be doing a lot of bobbing and weaving around traffic. So we've got a hundred real miles to cover. At least my wheels stopped going crazy. 
I thought the G29 was crazy with the force feedback. Then, try doing it with, uh, well, hell, I can actually show you guys, because I'm not alt-tabbing out. Seeing how we're driving for sourdough? Uh, yeah, let's just take a look at the uh, controls that I'm using to run this game. The Fanatec CSL Elite wheelbase. And like I said, the BMW GT2 wheel, V3 pedals, G27 shifter, my button box, which has all the controls for the truck, and then, of course, the uh, CSIO SKRS shifter. So, yeah, we got a ton of controls. Maxed out what ATS will allow me. I actually have more that I could input, but... There's a, enough buttons on the uh, rim. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven buttons, two joysticks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more axes there. Sixteen inputs on the button box. And then there's still some controls bound to keys, so yeah. Got about like 40, uh, 40 inputs that I could uh, program if I wanted to. Don't think I'm gonna need 40 just to drive a truck. Might need 40 to eat this fucking burrito though. So we're gonna try, and the keyword is try to get this load delivered. It says two hours, 34 minutes. Now, for anybody who knows Hawks' uh, map here, which this is all virgin territory for me, those are real miles and that's real time. That's not like some shitty little estimate. He made a 1-1 one -one scale map, so. That's literally two hours and 33 minutes I'll be sitting in here to drive to pump station three as a driver for hire. And then I'll start all over again up here in uh, Dead Horse. So I could buy my own truck. But on the bright side, we've got Viper 2's uh, 389 back. So there's a Peter dealer up in Dead Horse as soon as I get a high enough level and enough money I'll be getting vipers right no I'm not running the uh, oversized I'm gonna wait because I was reading in the forums that he's putting a gold mine in there'll be uh, when the uh, heavy cargo DLC comes out for ATS because I know ATS 2 already has it because I've uh, I've got it and I've actually done a couple uh, ETS2 streams. The uh, European trailers are so freaking easy to drive. The trailers, all the axles steer, so it's like you're driving nothing. It's easy. But the American ones, we're going to have a 6-axle, 9-axle, 12-axle trailer with a big-ass dozer or whatever on it. Hell yeah. And I think it was only what was it, 5 bucks for the DLC. I don't remember what I paid for it. Okay, whoever made this burrito should be fired. It's tougher than hell. And that part did not taste appealing whatsoever. I can only imagine what ice cut is going to look like. Been a long, long time. Well, hell, it's been since the Holland days that I've uh, gone down to ice cut. YouTube wasn't so anal about music. I 
I won a hosted race earlier. Oh god. So what happens when you reach over to set down a uh, plate, you hit a delineator. So this is going to take quite a few minutes. Oh, come on, he's in it. Oh, they're all doing the speed limit, though. Well, it's not overclocking the graphics card, and it's not really taxing the computer at all. But then again, it is all white. I need some form of music or I'm going to go insane. I wonder if I put earbuds in side of my uh, headset here. If that would bleed through, I highly doubt it. These are noise canceling. It's worth a shot. Yeah, two hours and 26 minutes. Yeah, it's a long time. But only three jobs out. Three jobs out of a dead horse, and I took the shortest. I crash out all the time. Takes a shitload of patience with our racing. That was taking me two years. No, three years. I mean, three years now. Three years to get where I got. Give this guy the gay horn. Not that that horn's any better. Wonder how far off the road you can drive. I can't see my screen. Probably should have put the summer version of this game in, seeing how it is summertime. Some fun in that, though. Slide in the snow. Just snow blinding. Need some sunglasses on or something. Okay, what does the road have in store for us? <laughs> uh, that reminds me exactly of what I saw in Holland. Just long, straight lines. Apparently there's a Volvo dealer though. Okay, if we're gonna do 90 miles in 2 hours and 20 minutes, I gotta get some earbuds and some music going, otherwise the sound of this piece of crap truck is gonna drive me insane. There's no safe place to pull over here. At all.
I don't know if they would. I actually honestly don't even know if they're doing another season of it. To be honest, it's just gotten. Uh oh. oh that could be bad. That could have been real bad. I started truckers has just gotten lamer and lamer and lamer every year. I knew it was all like fake before with all the drama and stuff, but God, did it just get worse? No, it's, it's not. All right, here's where I'm gonna get those damn earbuds, get my iPod, get some music going. That way I can. Not just hear the sound of the truck and go crazy. Grab some other stuff. This. Grab that. Golden. Where the hell is my fucking iPod? iPod! Uh, shit. Let's see. Hey, there's my earbuds. Come here, I need you. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's all tangled up. There we go. All right, so earbuds are going in. Oh, annoying, too. I just had these fuckers in my ears a few hours ago. Governor Ace. But this should be able to reach the iPod. Oh, hell yeah, are you kidding me? This is the charge cable reach over here. Oh, we're freaking gold. Turn the volume down a little bit. Bingo! Now we're in business. Oh, yeah, there we go. Got music going now. Life is so much better. Now we can drive. The email and game? Probably nothing to say. I need. Yeah, trucks for sale. This is the first generic one. I need the one that tells me I have $400,000, but then I can't drive anything or buy anything because I'm not a high enough driver level. All right, two hours and 17 minutes. Let's go. What the hell is the bus doing up here? The sad part is, is even with the music playing now in my ears, I can still hear the truck playing this day. Almost feels like these uh, delineators are closer than they used to be.
hopefully that sound isn't bleeding through. So it should be canceling out all sound. Last thing I need is YouTube cracking down because I'm listening to shit in an earbuds. Music I've legally purchased. Yeah, hit your brakes. Real trucker coming through. Oh wow, I'm not used to not hearing any bass. That sucks. Definitely helping though. Turn the music down just a tad. There we go. Doesn't have to be stupid loud. Get out, little car. So yeah, this is pretty uh, reminiscent of what I remember uh, in the Holland days. Just different trucks and a way better map. Hell, I could probably do 70. Because technically when this gets down to 65 miles, it should straight up be an hour, because I, well, roughly. Sounds almost like Beam and G. Excuse me, tanker coming through, even though you we work for the same company. Gotta get over here so I don't kill this cop. <laughs> 80 ain't gonna work. I'll tell you what we'll try for, we'll try for 70. I remember all the uh, remember all the roads and how they go on down south, but uh, up here, starting from Dead Horse down, yeah, not so familiar. I have a feeling 70 is going to get my ass totaled. If this thing ever wants to get over 68. 69. You know. Hey, he's on the Homo Depot. Come on, one more mile an hour, dude. Oh, there we go, we hit 70. Got death wish now. Oh, these new pedals are so much more comfortable. Gas pedal's freaking huge, brake pedal's huge, the clutch pedal's huge, and it's an 80 kg uh, load cell in the brake. Oh god, now I'm gonna start headbanging while I'm driving. That's not gonna be good. Ah, Gary's mod. What the hell is the point of that game? I've seen a lot of people play it, and I've, I've 
briefly read about it. It's just like what a open open sandbox do whatever the hell you want make whatever the hell you want kind of game at the risk of getting uh, copyright claimed by YouTube I'm listening to some hailstorm right now Mixed in with a lot of uh, Metallica's new album. Well, by new I mean last year. Who would have thought the Metallica, after so many years of putting out eh, music, would come out with a heavy hitting album that like rivaled Kill 'em All, Ride the Lightning, and Justice for All? So basically, we're enjoying this beautiful, uh, beautiful landscape and uh, weather here, thanks to Piva and his weather mod. Skies look friggin' realistic. They look better than uh, when I used to play uh, FSX. Now, what, what is the actual point of the game, if there is one? Or is it just literally a free-for-all, do whatever the hell you want? Is this Don Quixote? Sounds like it. Yes, it is. Cherry Pop and Daddy's Don Quixote. Alright, was that 1% to the truck or to the trailer? Bitch. I didn't ask for that. That's what I wanted. It's a truck. We're good. Excuse me, coming through. Impatient truck driver. It's 12 o'clock in the morning. The last thing I want to be doing is 2 o'clock in the morning driving a damn truck. Although it is very, very comfortable with uh, the new wheel and layout. It'll be a lot better once I've got my own truck. And I'm not a uh, bitch for hire. That's kind of what I figured it was. Okay, I see five people watching and one person talking. I'm not a rocket scientist, but that's kind of uneven. Y'all gotta talk to me and keep me awake, man. This is gonna be long ass drive. Say I got two hours to go and I'm 77 miles out. Music's helping, but let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Missing one there. It'd be eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Every sixteen. Double delineator. Who nice and disturbed. 
We got the cruise set at 70, it's only doing 65. It was going uphill. Now we're kind of going sort of down. That'll definitely keep me away here time the air conditioning kicks on, it's right over my freaking head. Double delineators! This would all look like if it was summertime. Instead of all white, it would just be like dirt. The road, obviously, yes. Uh, the reason why this has real miles is because the map is a 1 1 scale. So the time. The time and the miles are both in real time. Fuel consumption is also real too, so. And if you haven't noticed that bitchin' sky, that's.
God damn it. Stupid heads that wasn't plugged in and died. I just happened to look over the damn, uh, look over at OBS and it wasn't moving. Could have swore I plugged that back in. My bad. Sitting here talking the whole fucking time and knowing. Y'all can hear it. I'm just gonna shut up and drive now. Nice. Old Metallica. What the hell is going on? Oh, hey, dumbass, didn't have a shit plugged in. I was wondering why everybody was so damn quiet. Streamer rule 101, make sure all your shit is plugged in. It's hilarious how I'm just controlling the steering wheel with literally one finger around it. Barely even have to move the wheel. Ridiculously awesome. I wish I could get fan LEDs to work for this shit too. Not that it's necessary to have uh, red bars and all that stuff. It would be nice though, because my wheel does have a speedometer built into it, so it would show on my steering wheel how fast the truck was going. I think. Probably way wrong on that, because I think eye racing is the only thing that feeds telemetry back to the wheel. A lot of cops out today. All right, we're 57 miles out. I'm doing 70 miles an hour, and it's still an hour and 29 minutes. That math don't seem right. Excuse me, coming through. One finger truck driver here. Still waiting for ice cut. Some of these hills and stuff feel familiar. Damn, let's see what my trailer said on it. Ah, oh, it's Carlisle's trailer. I remember now it was we were pulling out of, uh, pulling on a dead horse. If he does anything like he did before, where he went up to New Exit and all that stuff, there will be ice crossing. Well, there are ice crossings on uh, the Battles Trail. I mean, it's about as realistic as it can get. It's just uh, 
raw ice and the crunching sound from, I think, uh, Extreme Trucker or whatever it was that had that on it. I remember he sent me a, uh, he sent me the Vettel's Trail when he had it first done, and I uh, beta tested it for him. And that's where we had the uh, magical snow mountains that were hanging in the air. And some of the hills that I had to climb over, I'd actually go around the, go around the trees. I think it took over an hour just to do the Vettel's Trail. I think I ended up in a frozen river too. Because I fucked up and missed my turn. Well, missed the corner because it's not marked at all. It's literally, in real life, the Vettel's Trail is nothing more than a glorified snow machine trail. I come through with a plow and just roughly push it out of the way. Yes, you were. Supposedly, the, the battle trail is now fixed. Which we won't find out until we get down there. But I'm really excited to see uh, what he's going to do with that gold mine he's going to put in. He's already got the road. From what I read, he's got the road structure already laid out, but he's got to do the elevation and all that stuff for the uh, the mine, and it's all anticipation. Let's get over here real quick. All in anticipation with the uh, heavy cargo DLC. That way we can haul heavy stuff to the mine and all the way up to Dead Horse. forever. Yeah, they're uh, actually working on uh, making the uh, tandems. Unfortunately, their uh, version is going to be the uh, little 28-foot pup trailers. I'll. I hope they. It'd be nice if they put in uh, two 48-foot uh, trailers. Be a bit of a pain in the ass to turn that on some of the short roads or 90 degree turns, but I've pulled super bees before. What the fuck? Please tell me you saw that. Watch this car. He was going in reverse and then he spun it around and went forward. I gotta see this shit on the stream. Look, look, headlights facing me. Whips around and turns. What the hell was that? What the hell? Put a bullet in that bitch. Well, let's see, it's 12.45, and it says I have an hour and 17 minutes. So, it'll be just after 2 o'clock in the morning by the time I roll into pump station. 
62. Oh yeah, you know those uh, those delineators are 100% collision. I hit one of them and did 1% damage to the truck. They are definitely static objects. Sometimes when you get bored, it's actually really fun to do a... Uh, here. Well, is that oncoming? Yes, that's an oncoming truck. No? No, it's not. Sometimes it's fun to do this. One of these times I'm gonna hit the fucking thing, it's supposed to my ass end slide now. Let's see if you can do a high speed slalom. Okay, there's pump station two. We're not going to two, we must be going to three. Okay, so I'm guessing if that was pump station two, then ice cut isn't in the uh, map yet. Although I do remember him saying something about ice cut, so who knows? So I remember in the old game, on the old map. Now let's do some more slalom. Da da. Dude. Oh, see, see, they're, they're not non collisions. I just smacked one. Oh, oncoming truck. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I can't slow him that way. This is a ditch. Oh, he stopped for me. Thanks. Don't mind me, just a dumbass coming through. This is to the truck. Manual control! I'm sure, uh, well, I'm not sure. I know that as soon as they, uh, as soon as they release the tandems, meaning that they, uh, script the ability for these, uh, for the SES stock trailers to be, uh, run in tandem, the modders will be all over it and they'll make, uh, They'll make tandems at 48s, whatever. Okay, we're starting to climb something here. Oh wow, now I have to actually like, do things. All right, we got done in an hour, 12 minutes. This will put me at pump station three at exactly two o'clock in the morning. Maybe a hair ahead. Oh, screw this. Oncoming vehicles. Jeez. We're climbing one hell of a hill, I can tell you that much. I'd have dropped down to three high. Come on, little Peter Puffer, you can do it. Shit, I don't even have panel LEDs on. That's probably why it's not working. Uh, yeah. That's why it's not working. Panel LEDs isn't on. Alright, alt tab real quick. Damn it. 
Fanalids, please turn that on. The hell is it? Engine. Fanalids, even though you guys can't see it, I'm dragging across the center screen. What else was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Open another Mountain Dew and refill. Not an adult beverage, it's Mountain Dew. Come on, hurry up. Transfer from can to bottle. Thank you. I got a schedule to keep here. Doesn't help when you're, uh... Forget, every time you alt-tab it, screws up that SKRS shifter. You gotta pull it back to neutral and then back in whatever gear you had it in. I'm just literally waiting here to see a sign that says ice cut. Put my uh, range selector up. Come on, don't want it to shift out. Well, if I do shift out, I don't want to go to fifth gear. Can we float it? Yes, we floated it, no clutch. Oh shit. Yeah, buddy, let's do some drifting. Cruise is set back again. That was fun. I like drifting. Biggest thing I remember from this map in Holland is forget what point on the map you got to. God damn it, just dropped my iPod. And apparently touching is enough to turn the volume down. Why is that letting me out? What the hell? There we go. Okay, now back to what the hell I was saying before I uh, screwed myself all up. The biggest thing I remember from the old version of this map, the Holland version, was uh, you get to a certain part out in the tundra here where like the ground would shake back and forth and like the truck was like doing this the whole time. It was weird. How are you stopping poor cop? I was demonstrating something. All right, we got a schedule to keep her one minute ahead right now. Balls out this time. Ah, this thing is dropping RPM like skirts on prom at night. Go. Yeah, 
Got enough distance for 500 something miles. We're good. So for those of you just joining, we are headed from Dead Horse to Pump Station 3. We've got 39 miles left and it's saying we have an hour and two minutes to do it. And we'll be arriving there at 1.58 a.m. my time, real time. 1.58 in the morning. Hence the reason I'm driving like an asshole now. I gotta stop blowing that shit in front of the monitor. Well, TV screen. Hi, bus! I think no matter how shitty the job, I'm either gonna choose a Kenworth or a uh, 389. The more 680s or 579s, these trucks sound like ass. The Jake brake sounds like somebody after eating too much beans. Sounds horrible. Hour left for three minutes ahead of schedule now. Of my goal of being done by two in the morning. And we're only 38 miles out. So explain to me how you do 38 miles in an hour when you're doing 65 miles an hour. Do we have a gear past this? Oh my God, we have six low. I have a feeling I'm not gonna want that gear though. Ah, no, fuck it, let's go. If we drift, we drift. Worst we could do is, uh, Debogorski it into, uh, around the corner. Alright, so we have six low in this truck, that's it, so it's a, uh, 13 speed. Ooh, is this Janice Joplin? Joplin. Yes, it is. All right, cool. Now we get some groove on. Oh my God, we're doing 93 miles an hour. We're gonna fucking die. Oh, we're gonna start drifting around corners now. I want that load. <coughs> well, this feels like uh, racing in Talladega. I got both feet crossed over the gas pedal. <laughs> it's funny to say that me and him share the same name. And I'm probably going to be like him when I'm that age. That's what I like about him though. He's always been ZFG. That's pretty much my motto. Zero fucks given. I respect that. Good old Art Burke. All right, so we're five minutes ahead of schedule. And I'm fucking freezing because the air is on.
flirt. Oh god. Part of me really wants to go in that ditch, see how bad it is, but the other part of me is like, hey, dumbass, don't do that. So instead, we're just gonna do this. Don't mind me. It would take to get this in a slide. Oh, there's a little bit. There's a slide. Oh shit. All right, cool. All right, so we found the limits. Sure, that is. Sorry, I heard somebody just call my name. So tempting to hit. Fifty one minutes, so we're seven minutes ahead of schedule. No, eight, nine, fifty minutes, or eight minutes ahead of schedule. Fuck, I can't count. My name's Jeffy Encounter Potato. Brandon Gilbert. Ow. Excuse me, coming through. Oh, hey, it's Carl truck. Back in the day, Pops Farm was a place to go. Little truck up, hit the dirt road. Light the bonfire, then call the girls. King in the can of the Marlboro man. Jack and Jim, a few good friends. We learned how to cut the skirt, too. Right in with the boys in blue. So, she said, it's funny how I remember spread like I know something. Y'all don't know. Man, that shit is getting old. You better watch them. Just watch them out before I have to knock the loud ass out. I'm tired of talking, man. Y'all ain't listening. It's been a long time since I heard that song. And fuck Jason Aldean. It's Brantley Gilbert and Cole Ford. Forty-eight minutes. So we love cornbread and biscuits around here. We fix it. Do it right. Do it right. We do it all right. Feels to get off the road and trucks four wheels. Hop on in and tell your friends. We raise in hell with the blacktop ends. Why the hell I got my finger hovering over the damn turn signal? It's not like I'm gonna be fucking going anywhere. Uh, sorry, making a left turn, or a right turn, right, left. And a bunch of turns. I'm confused, I don't know which way I'm going. going over here. Thank God you can't do that on this map. But don't say that because if there's uh, if there's anything that can and will go wrong I'll fucking find it and do it. Pepsi! It cold. 
know everybody who's not talking is probably thinking I'm like the most retarded motherfucker they've ever seen. They're right. Don't care. Gotta give you guys something. Ooh, good song. Gotta give you guys something entertaining while staring at delineators and white stuff all over the ground. Oh, damn it. God damn it. That's like the fourth time I've done that. You dirty whore. There. It might be going down another gear. I gotta say, I'm not a big Disturbed fan, but they did an awesome cover of uh, Judas Priest's uh, Living After Midnight. Damn it, I didn't know I had that many likes. All I'm doing is just sitting here talking and driving. Somebody knows my first name. Okay, I blame anything stupid that I do on uh, when a good song comes on, I really get into it. I finally found my way to say fuck you to YouTube about the music. Just listen to it in your butts, inside of your noise canceling headphones. Oh, that's not fair. Yeah, I listened to that cover, and honestly, it was a nice, raw, stripped, uh, stripped version of it. I'm just not a huge Disturbed fan. I'm more of like a thrash metal type of guy. I mean, stuff like Body Count, E-Town Concrete, Pantera, Megadeth, Metallica, Slayer, all the heavy stuff, hate breed, Lamb of God, stuff like that. Avenged Sevenfold, old Avenged Sevenfold. I'll be very specific about that. It's like when I, I saw the video on YouTube for uh, D. Snyder's uh, stripped down emotional, and I'm using some very loose air quotes emotional stripped down version of uh, we're not gonna take it. D. Snyder looks fucking freaky as shit without his makeup on. I will say that. I've got an old Ford truck. I've got the uh, Ford LTL 9000. I didn't put it in uh, the game, but it's mainly because I wanted a Viper 2 truck. Holy shit, there's an actual mountain. Is this ice cut? tell you what it means it's a gear change hey we're actually cutting down on time it won't be two o'clock in the morning yeah come on Peter Puffer you can make it oh I see a sign I see a sign what is it I'm getting all excited here. There's a sign. What is it? Ah! Happy Valley Airport. God damn it. I've got a 2007. Ooh. Metallica. I've got a 2007 Dodge Ram 1500 with the, uh, a very, very heavily built, uh, fuck is it the four seven flex fuel motor 
And then a uh, 99 3500 with a 12 valve, four wheel drive, one ton dually. Come on, 22 miles and then we can get rid of this shitty truck. Off the new days must I run. All right, we are way ahead of schedule now. That's that's what I like seeing. If there's any area on this map that we can do, it's definitely here because it's minimal turns, a lot of flat straights I want an old uh, like a early 80s box body uh, either Cheyenne or custom deluxe regular cab long bed four wheel drive Yank that old worn out ass 350 out of it and fucking right a wolf of man, you got it right there. Yank that old ass 350 out and throw like a 383 stroke up on that bitch. Back to the meaning of life. Alright, seeing how you're good, you knew exactly what song that was just by that little lyric, what did you think of Metallica's uh, latest album? I found it actually on YouTube by accident. Didn't even realize that they put out an album in 2016, and when I found it, I was fucking floored. Like, it was almost like I got drop kicked in a mosh pit, it was so badass. See, if YouTube wasn't such self-righteous, prestigious, or pretentious fucks and would let you play music, even if I didn't monetize my videos, they still wouldn't let me play music. Music is life. I think off of the new album, though, Halo on Fire, amazing song. Uh, Here Comes Revenge, amazing song. Am I Savage? When, the, when I heard that the first time, it reminded me of Am I Evil? And every time he went, Am I Savage? I'd always go, Yes, I fucking am. Hey, hey, we don't need no free gas up in here. No farting. I ate a burrito earlier, but I haven't farted, so no free gas. Fart, open the window. Yeah, of course, these last 18 miles are probably going to kick me right in the nuts. <laughs> here, here, I want you to take this jar, but don't open it. Why? Wow, what's in it? Just no, no, don't open it. And then walk away. Not even five minutes later, he opens the jar. Oh my God! What the fuck is that smell? Partner jar. Uh, 
Oh, dude, I'm, I'm the worst at doing that. I'll fucking rip a nasty ass one, lock the windows, and watch everybody start gagging. I'm also real bad about playing freeze out, too. Now, see, I'm originally from Connecticut, so bring on the cold weather. I don't give a shit. I'm a transplant. I'll Dutch oven anybody inside the car, well, inside my truck. Dad, roll the windows down. Nope, you guys are gonna suffer with it. Suffer. But it smells so bad. Yeah, well, I don't smell it. No dog smells his own shit. See, at some point, my streams always end up dealing with farts, shit, puke, all the good things. My streams always end up X-rated. I, I don't know why it happens, but it always fucking does every time. Love it. I'm not gonna st Oh, sorry. We all must be politically correct. I didn't fart. I passed wind. And quite frankly, that's disgusting because that's flatulence is not funny. It, it's a bodily function. Bitch, I just farted in your eyes are watering because it smells so bad. That's fucking funny. Sir, I'm gonna have to refrain you from using the F word. Which one? Are you talking about the word fuck? Sir, please do not use that word. Ooh, nice. Unholy confessions. Even though M Shadows kind of was still a little too hardcore on the scream over there. It's a great time to rip on the guitar or on the drums. When I grow up, I want to be just like the Rev. Never gonna happen, though. She said, as I saw the way, try not to lose you. Too vibrant, hard to change. Sounds like she's saying shit. All right, let, let's start the mosh pit. I started it. We're doing it. Nothing hurts my world. Just affects the ones around me. When it's deep in my soul, I'll be the one who's found. Yeah, I lost a lot of speed on that. Oh god, we're flying. Guitar! This is why I can't listen to angry music when I'm driving, because now I'm doing way over the speed limit. I don't give a shit if I die. That's why. Surround me, squeeze till I cannot breathe. Gotta love that breakdown. Anytime you hear China, it means sudden death is imminent. Oh!
Nothing hurts my world, just affects the ones around me. What should deep in my soul? You'll be the one who's I, my playlist on here better not let me the fuck down after this song. I'll be pissed. Oh, hey, look, I don't have that gear. Let's go to this one. The one who don't care at all. Being the one on the stand. When time soaked with blood turns its back. Divided in me is your heart. Uh, right, well, for the past 22, 23 years, I, uh, <laughs> ironically, I live in the country music capital of, uh, the world. I'm, uh, in Tennessee. I'm roughly about half an hour, well, I, fuck that. I'm exactly half an hour, uh, from downtown Nashville. Surprisingly, though, Nashville has a good, uh, thrash metal scene. Oh my god, really? It's gonna go to some Grim Reaper from the 80s? No, 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 we're hitting skip on that. No, we're hitting skip again. And again. Oh! Trashed and scattered! Hell yeah! Raping yourself! Come on, we're coming up to a hill, damn it. Trashed and scattered again, our fingers so low, which is looking to me if it's so cold. Come on. God to the motherfuckers, always wasting my time. I don't need a reason. Uh oh, we're gonna have to go down another gear. And another gear. And another gear. And another gear. You said you don't mean shit. I'll be a fucking parasite and I will take you out. I'll be some. Else. Come on, let's get this Peter Puffer rolling. Come on, fifth gear. Oh yeah, this gets the old Go in gear, you piece of shit. Don't shut on me. Sit, don't shut on me. What's up, Nug out? Limit your doubt. What was so proudly held? 
Hey, holy shit, we're only six miles out now. Nice. I'm actually making it a hell of a lot faster than I thought I would. No, no, no. Shit, don't shut up, me. So be it. Friend no more. To secure peace and to prepare for war. So be it. Settle the score. Touch me again with the word that you will never more. What? A NASCAR track map? She was a deadly bite, quick as a bruton, quick as a lightning strike. I wouldn't mind seeing these guys live in concert again. It might be like the sixth time. Don't shut up, man. Get over on the side. Oh, he has some offspring. Sweet. You can do it. Until the break of dawn. Janet Reno. God, this song is really showing my age. I burst out of it, original prankster. Original prankster, not new, stop new until the I don't say. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Best line of the song coming up, too. Do you know what smells like shit? God damn. Tag team double header. Fire always makes it better. No, wait. Good fucking song. Little hoochie mamas. I can't believe Dexter had that high of a voice back then. And he still does now. Knock down the world. Gonna put head in the arm and a bust out of it. Original Prince. You know it's not new. Not new. I think this is one of the best bands that came out of Cali. Time so good to see ya. Nine, nine. Don't wanna be ya. Time, time so good to see ya. Nine, nine, don't wanna be a... Eh, can reach the fucking turn signal. It's up to you, uh, knock down the wall. Knock down the wall. Oh, there's our destination flag popping up on the right fucking A. Outside view! Woo! Hope I wasn't hauling anything fragile because I've been beating the shit out of this trailer. That's what they're gonna say. 
Alright, don't let me down, friggin' iPod. Fuck am I supposed to turn? Oh shit, right there. That's how I just want to do this. Oh hell yeah, fix her. What the fuck did I just hit? Okay, maybe we need to go to Ice Earth Truck Review. Am I in a snowbank? Is that the, like a border here? Holy fuck! Either I'm overtired or something, or those barrels are fucking floating. Wow, I'm a fucking idiot. Hey, let's just turn around here. What the fuck am I hitting? Really? Please tell me none of this is the trailer. God damn it. I'm in something. Come on, you piece of shit, turn around. And our sins Serious and aligned Those who begins to make us humble Only you can tell in time If we fall or merely stumble but Tell me, can you heal what Father's done? What the fuck? Oh, I went off the road. Haha. <laughs> So we may start again Then again you feel what Father's done Cut this rope and let us run Just when I seems fine and I'm pain free Jab another pin, jab another pin in there yeah. That was awesome, I just had to truck bicycles Zero fucks given Mirror, mirror, uh, upon the wall. Break a spell or become the one. See sail in the ends. The souls will remind us. We're just the souls in the end of the Should I drop off right here? Oh yeah. Tell me, can you hear what Father's done? Cut this road on another son. Can you hear the broken words within? Can you step away so we may start again? Tell me, can you hear what Father's done? We cut this rope and let us run. Just when all seems fine and I'm pain free. Jab another pin, jab another pin in there. Not really, sourdoughs out of Fairbanks. Jab it! Surprised that license plate in that front bumper still on the truck after all that shit I just did. Here come the pins. Sorry, my truck had to fart. And again. The truck's got really bad gas. That seems a rental. Fuck it. Drop trailer. Now you can take your satisfaction and shove up your ass. Pew! Look at that, I'm level four. Let's go. Hazmat. 
High value. Hazmat again. High value. Hazmat. Oh, wait, we can't. Ah, ha, ha. Uh, oh, 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 look at this. Our big ass loan is there now, finally. Too bad I'm not a high enough level to fucking buy my truck. Oh, no, screw off. There, I opened it. Broke the seal. Oh, look at all these jobs. Fucking A. Pump station three to seven mile. Three to seven mile, two to cold foot. Dead horse to four. I'm not using that fucking truck again. That's a long fucking drive right there. Especially that load. We drove the pump three. Uh, huh. I don't want to drive another fart Jake brake truck. Oh, fuck me. That's a long drive. No, 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 no. But it's in a Peterbilt. Or I can do the same load to pump four. Gun, pine of gin. This is pump station four will take me just shy of uh, Attigan Pass. Do I want a day cab though? Or do I want to really go all the way to seven mile? Jesus Christ, that's a long run. You know what? I'm going to regret it, but. I just clicked on that one. Oh yeah, I got my green gauges. They still work. Real motor. Oh god damn it's cables. Well, at least I'm in a real man's truck this time. Ice road trucker camera. Oh, yeah, real Jake. Son, I'm not going to fuck the cargo up. <coughs> what the f Where was there a turn there? Fucks the road. Oh my god, six and a half hour drive. Everybody wants to know what I got going on below. Everybody wants to see. This truck has a ballsy ass, uh, fuck out. What the hell is another new mail? Oh, I like hearing that, Jake.
<laughs> I'm beyond tired. the dashboard on that. Ah, kind of like this view better, but it's easier to hear with this one. Got my drink right here. Oh my god, I meant to fucking put the vent back on the air conditioning unit. Actually, it's the air vent, which is right above my head, which I'm gonna do right now because it's fucking cold. And this song is letting me down. Down, I don't know. You are going back up in there because it's fucking cold. And I have a giant vagina, so you're going back on. I hope somebody writes down all the, the best of the stupid shit that I say. That way they can use it in quotes. Sure, you can make some freaking money off of that. Yeah, dream no more, Metallica. Makes me drive like an asshole. God damn it, it's not a 13 speed truck. All right, let's see, it's 1.44 in the morning. I'll stream until two o'clock. Let's see how far we get. Hey, it's three degrees outside in beautiful uh, butt fuck Alaska. Lucky. Bogged down there. You turn to stone.
okay, decent speed for this truck with this load would be right around there, 65. Do not have the overall main feeling that I'm going to be fucking shifting like a bastard. Hell, let's let it bog down in six. Ah, Jesus lights! You turn to stone. Can't look away. You turn to stone. Can this they say? What the hell is that to the left? It looks like some satanic circle. Or a hole in the ground, one of the two. Ah, oh, it's just it's the train doing some weird shit. Ah, oh, you need to share the pop tar love, man. Oh, theoretically this would be my good stopping point, but I still got 12 more minutes to drive. Oh, yeah, I got the good horns. I love this horn. Uh. Oh, boy. Now we're climbing some hills. And we're going down the hell of the hill. Go in gear, you piece of shit shifter. <laughs> oh, go and see what I got to eat. Dropping down, yep. It's gonna sound so fucking good when you J shift. Wait a minute, it's 12 p.m. Why the hell is it darker than fuck? Oh shit, starting to snow. That's right, we just floated a gear. Floated a gear. Oh boy. Oh yeah, bad country. Probably a dumbass move to shift there. Snow, is this like rain or is it snow? That's snow. Can't you help me as I'm starting to burn? Too many doses and I'm starting to get an attraction in my confidence and leaving me on my own. You want to save me and I know I don't want the attention. Dude, 
This is streaming when you're sleepy. You don't give a shit. You know I don't want the attention. Oh, now, now I'm shadow got all nasally. About it. I haven't the gayest name at all. I mean, hell, you got Sinister Gates, Zacky Vengeance, Johnny Christ, you had the Red, and M Shadows. What was that supposed to be like some M Night Shyamalan type deal thing? Popcorn, really? Rub it in, man. Rub it in. <laughs> you definitely. It's cold and snowy out in Alaska. Fuck, I'm being passed by a car. I'm seeing something up in the distance. Is this a pipeline? That car scared the shit out of me. What the hell is that? That's like the pipeline that's all twisted. The hell, I'm in my like, 10th mountain dude. Dude, look at the pipeline, that like goes up in the air. What the hell? Pipeline looks like a bobsled. Fucking strobe on top of it. Definitely picked up as far as snow. This this is going on that side. Jake shifting. to that point where uh, they've already crossed over and you feel like you're drunk as fuck. 
Get in gear, you stupid little shit. Good lord. This could be bad. This could be very bad. covered 10 miles uh, we are actually out in the uh, Alaska tundra I've got the uh, Alaska pipeline right there to my right Left out of a three mile station. I think we're headed for a seven mile. It's 
stops shine, it'll be a little bit better. Yeah, the wind's howling like a motherfucker in the snow, but I think that's also part of the fact that I'm out in the tunnel, which is literally nothing. Except me and this Peterville with a load of cables. There we went. We're in a seven mile station. Now it's starting to hit crunching. I don't like that curve coming up. Oh god, I'm doing drive right now. Yeah. Sorry car. That one sucks. That's not bad. Ah, the snow needs to quit. Fuck, I can't see where the road's going. The storm just gets worse. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow, this is bad. Uh, I can't see shit. See you later, Jeremiah. Uh, this is hard to see. This is getting a little hairy. Any better up here? Ah, oh, way better. Way better.
Appalachian Hills. Oh boy, that helps. I do believe I found our place that we're stopping for the night. We're gonna stop at Tulick Field Station. Turn. 
I'm gonna try not to get this fucking thing stuck. Oh, it's sliding, slide, slide, slide. She slid bad. Catchy as shit to here. So, needless to say, we started off at a uh, three mile with this job, seeing how I'm a driver for hire still. And we're going to seven mile station. We still have 223 miles out of the 240 something that we had. But it's quarter after two in the morning here. So, I think we found a nice little spot to. Uh, bed down and sleep, so you know we're not technically on the Dalton, we're sitting here on the side and uh, hopefully when we wake up in the morning my truck did not get uh, you know, those, those, those can stay on hopefully my truck's not buried in the snowbank we still have a long ass way to go, still 5 hours and 48 minutes and I went over what I said I was going to do in the stream by about 5 minutes, so that being said, we're going to check our email here, see what the hell we got email was. Shifters in neutral. Drivers with their own equipment needed. Carlisle, dead horse. We offer competitive rates of up to $4,800 for a job. Please, if you have your own vehicle, inquire directly at our dock in dead horse. Carlisle, dead horse. To whom it may concern. <laughs> Skilled drivers. For a large number of deliveries. All right, well, anyways. It's quarter after two in the morning. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow, I'll probably have a uh, live stream of this going up during the day sometime. If not, it'll be uh, probably two parts for this trip. Uh, so this will actually be a three-part trip. Seeing so, you know, how we left out of Three Mile and we're down here at Tulick, uh Wherever the fuck we are, somewhere. In Alaska, down the Dalton Highway, where it's windy as hell. I'm going to wake up and the snow is going to be up there, the tips of my truck, the exhaust tips. But, nonetheless, we uh, started a voyage towards Seven Mile Station, and it, we will definitely pick this back up tomorrow. And hopefully, uh, hopefully we redeem ourselves, because I know uh, you guys used to love seeing all these Dalton Highway videos, and... Now that I actually got the damn map working right, because I was an idiot and didn't look at the load order and all that shit. Now that's working, hopefully, uh, I'll, well, not hopefully, I know I'm going to. I'm going to put a whole uh, video series on this as uh, Hawks continues to update it, and we'll just go from there. So, thanks for everybody for tuning in and uh, watching. Hope you enjoyed the uh, insanity that is a typical uh, diehard stream, and uh, we'll see you guys uh next time well not next time but see you guys tomorrow or later today whatever the hell you want to call it peace out y'all